All right, thanks, Jamie. Well, the 81st annual Hampton County Watermelon Festival is in its third day now, and our Tyler Mannion is joining us live from Hampton County. Tyler, rumor has it this event is a pretty big deal, right? Yes, Sam. It's an absolute small town America peak moment. This watermelon festival that, like you just said, is in its 81st year. You know, because there have been so many of these, there's a lot of history that comes with this week long celebration and a few people inside it that stick out just a little bit more. I want to introduce you to one of them who all of this just means a bit extra to. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> It doesn't get more Hampton County than the Watermelon Festival. This watermelon Juicy. is delicious. Juicy. Thousands of people come out for events like Kids Day in the Park. Yay! A special few, though, draw extra attention. I'm the Hampton County Watermelon Festival queen. Miss Festival walks around taking pictures and kissing babies. Bye. Like a celebrity. And little girls like my daughter look up to them all through their childhood and just can't wait until they can wear a crown one day and do the same thing. That's exactly how it went for this year's queen. Oh, hey. Miriam Reynolds, who's had this as a goal her entire life. Oh, I was like four or five, like real little, like little girl with my little bangs and little cut. I was like, that's what I want to be. I was like, that's what I want to do when I get a little bit older. The week is filled with cheerful greetings. Hey. And not so competitive games. Oh, all right, your turn. But most importantly, it's bringing generations together. You see, Miriam's grandmother wore this crown decades ago. She was one of the first queens, like when the Hampton County Watermelon Festival first started, because it's only the 81st year. These events have history, just as this festival does within her family, making it mean even more to this queen and the one she grew up with. When she found out that I was this, she like almost started crying. She was so excited. It literally meant so much to her. Probably that is what made it worth it, like winning. Like I was excited, but then seeing how excited my grandma was for me really like did it for me. Miriam or Miri as her friends call her. Tell me this isn't just an emotional time for her and her grandma, but also her mom, who's a nurse in the area and has found a way to take time off to be at each event to support her daughter so far. Speaking of events, the next one starting in just the next half hour, just inside the theater behind me here. We'll come back to you on the news at six, bring you some of that. But for now, reporting live in Hampton, Tyler Mannion, WTOC News.